I'm Alan Bresnik from Light Reading. We're here at our Cable Next Gen Technologies and Strategies Conference in Denver uh, during the blizzard of 2019. I'm speaking with John Chapman of Cisco. Hi, John. Hi there, Alan. So, John, what's the most transformational step that cable operators should be pursuing right now? There's a lot of things changing on the technology front. I think if I had to anchor it down to one transformational step, it's the uh, increase of the upstream spectrum. Right now the okay. plants are 42 megahertz, 65 megahertz, right. which is good for 100 megabit, which will support a gigabit downstream, and everybody's hit the gigabit downstream threshold. Mm -hmm. So if we're, as we go from a gigabit to 10 gigabit the downstream, which is the 10G transformation you guys are talking about today, right. the upstream has its own transformation from going from its 100 megabit to a gigabit in the upstream. So we have to move past the 45, to actually past 85 to something new. And that's where the discussions around FDX and 204 come. And mid splits but, and things And like mid splits. That. But the moment you change that mid that, that split, you touch every node and amplifier mm -hmm. on the network. And for that matter, the CMTS is the CMs. So now it's, I have to upgrade my plant. What's the most cost effective way to upgrade my plant? And for the money I'm going to spend, what's my best bang for the buck? So what are all the new technologies available to me? And can I just upgrade it once and get it all in? And of course, right now, there's a lot of new technologies on right. the horizon to choose from. So there's a lot of big decisions to be made. Right, so how can DOCSIS compete with the scalability of other technologies? DOCSIS is uh, proven to be a highly scalable technology. You look where we started from 20 years ago mm -hmm. with uh, you know, like a 25 megabit downstream. We're at a gigabit today, that's a 40X expansion. Massive scaling there. Mm -hmm. We're about to go from one gig to 10 gig, that's another 10X expansion. That 40X expansion had a lot of rebuilds as we go along the way. As we go from one gig to 10 gig, we're going to be transforming the whole plant, turning to digital fiber, segmenting the plant more. Um, we've probably got at least another 10X to 25X, just purely in, in technology evolution. 25X. Well, I think we can actually go uh, past uh, you know, the, the 10 gig is a 1.2 gigahertz type of plant. We've right. seen um, studies now that can take us to 1.8 and even 3 gigahertz. Three gigahertz would be 25 gigabits per second, which would actually be keeping up with PON. Mm -hmm. They can do it, and we can do it. And then, of course, you can subdivide the plant. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so you've got a 25x growth on uh, the technology, and if you go today from three to 500 households pass, you could go down to 25 or 30 households pass. You could even go down to one or two households pass per spectrum, mm -hmm. which is another, you know, 100x, 200x growth path there. So you combine that together, we have 2,000, 3,000, 10,000 more expansion that we can get to. So that's why DOCSIS may never die, huh? Uh, it'll never die. Okay. DOCSIS really is a method of getting bits over coax. Coax is a way of extending fiber mm -hmm. without having to put fiber there. And everything on top of it all is really just Ethernet. How do you see cable playing and competing in the 5G world? I think that uh, it's going to do really, really well. People tend to kind of look at the two technologies and compare the two of them. It's almost like the telco companies versus the cable companies, right. which is a 20-year-old mindset. Mm -hmm. Today, both companies offer all the same services. They're all doing data, voice, and video, and many times they're the same company. So I really, I think it's all about how can cable take advantage of the opportunities that 5G presents. And one of those is, you know, if, we, if you take a look at a wireless network, behind every good wireless network is a wireline network. Right behind every great wireless technology is a great wireline technology, and cable happens to be a great wireline technology. We can incrementally increase the bandwidth in the, uh, the plant. So the HFC plant at very first blush is fantastic backhaul. As we get more distributed antennas out, uh, smaller cells, mm -hmm. it's a natural backhaul for anything in the residential footprint. So the 5G threat isn't keeping you up at night? Actually, I think it's going to help out with the cable companies. Is that alone, there's a 5G revenue stream that you pay, mm -hmm. or a mobile revenue stream that you pay, and then a cable revenue stream that you pay. And if you can combine those and pay less, mm -hmm. you'll be all over it, which is more money for the, the operator that can figure out how to combine those two. Mm -hmm. So I think that there's a very, very good business challenge to be had there and a really good business opportunity for revenue expansion. And uh, the combination of a really excellent wireline plant with a supplemental build out on the wireless side. Mm -hmm. I think it's a great technical and a business opportunity. John, thanks a lot. Always a pleasure, Alan. Good to see you. Keep warm. <laughs> you too.